If you're having a problem in your house with a circuit that's protected by a GFCI, I'm going to show you the steps that you should go through to try and figure out what's causing the problem. Coming up. Now, in case you're unaware, GFCI stands for Ground Fault Circuit Interrupter. And what a GFCI outlet is, is it's a shock protection device. And you have to put these anywhere that you could come in contact with water in kitchens, bathrooms, garages, basements, places like that. Now the way the GFCI works is that there's two slots here. The small slot is the hot side and the long one is the neutral side. So it measures the electricity coming out of the hot and going back to the neutral through the circuit, okay? Whatever appliance is plugged in here. And if the number of electrons going back through that neutral does not match the number that came out here, if any current is lost, it shuts it down before somebody can get shocked. Now it also can be hooked up so that just this outlet itself is protected, or you can take off this tape here and wire it so that another outlet or multiple outlets can be protected by this one. This simple little coffee pot has been causing grief for friends of mine. They plug it in and occasionally it pops the GFCI. They don't know why. But clearly you can hear, it's working now. Now that outlet down there where the coffee pot gets plugged into is controlled by this GFCI over here. So if I pop this test button, you can see the light goes out on that, that outlet over there. And now it's back on. So the first thing I'm going to test is I'm going to test the breaker. And that way I know then the power is turned off. And that is number four, which is a 20 amp breaker. I just want to see if the breaker works normal. And it does. All right, now there's nothing wrong with the breaker. So I'm going to put in the, uh, the coffee pot here and my tester and wiggle it to see if maybe there's a loose connection or something that might be causing the GFCI to pop. But obviously, nothing is happening there. I'm going to do the same thing at the GFCI. Nothing. Now, in addition to testing with the test button, I can test the GFCI remotely by plugging in this little device here. And it has a button on it for GFCI testing and it gives a very small, very small amount of uh, current. Passes to ground and that's what causes this to pop. So you heard the click and that's back on. And there's another outlet on this too. This outlet in the island is also protected by that GFCI. And again, it pops. Now the power is off. Everything looks okay from, from a first glance. It's a plastic box, so nothing's gonna be shorting out on that. And I'm just gonna make sure that everything is good and tight. Nothing seems out of whack on that, that's for sure. Let me try the outlet. Now this outlet here is the one that they say they use the most when they're with the coffee maker, so. All right, this time, again, we have a deep plastic box. The wires all look to be good. They are uh, cut a little bit long, you can see here, but I don't think that's the problem. And you can see one set of wires comes in from the GFCI and the other set goes over to the island. And that's, that's typical. Just gonna make sure they're nice and tight. But I don't see anything that would tell me that anything's wrong. The outlet's not cracked. Nothing's out of the ordinary, honestly. Now, one thing I would check though is the ground pigtail here. That is tight and original from when the house was built. So 
that's never been taken off. I don't think that's the problem. I, I think everything is fine here. The only thing I could think of is that maybe when they fill this with water, some water gets down here and uh, perhaps causes the GFCI to pop. Either that or there might be something defective about the coffee pot, but I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. It looked fine to me. Just trying to wiggle whatever I can to try and see if something is loose, something about the cord, but nothing. It looks fine. We've got to go about this with process of elimination. I couldn't find anything technically wrong with it. So what I said is, use this coffee pot over here, and if it happens again, use it on the circuit over here, it's a separate circuit, it's a different GFCI. If it happens there, it's the coffee pot. If it only happens on this circuit, it's that GFCI. Now, unfortunately, that's a gray GFCI, so I don't have one of those and I can't proactively replace it, otherwise I would, I only have white. So he would have to order one. But that's basically the process of elimination that you would go through if you're having a problem with the GFCI. If you need shade on your deck or patio this summer, check out Toya Grid Pergola Kits. You source the lumber locally and can assemble this modular system in as little as 30 minutes. Check the video description for links to videos and more information about Toya Grid.